It has been since December 10th of last year since I uploaded my last b b b the rainworm. To say that we're long overdue is putting it casually. I'm not going to explain what it is. If you know, you know. If you don't, I'll slap your teeth out of your mouth. Uh, so let's get ready to enjoy bathing in the blood of the heathens that don't know when to shut the front door in public when it would probably serve them well. Get your hands off of me. You are kidnapping me. I will person. What is your name? Oh boy. Take your, no, take your hands off of me. You are you don't little have bit, the right. A little bit handsy. Get your hands off of me. I've done nothing wrong. I am not a criminal. Get your hands off of me. I have to imagine we're I mean it's classic person refuses to wear a mask in a, you know, privately owned establishment. No context of what led us to this point per usual, but I'm pretty sure I saw a leopard print shirt on the woman. Uh, in this scuffle here, so we could be in store for some goodness. That's a violation. Ma'am, Take Ma your hand off of me. Sir, Don't you come need behind to read me. your constitution. You need to read ah, your yes, constitution. classic. Get your hands off of me. You're classic right reference to, to the constitution. Oh, baby. So leopard. Me, like a leopard cloak I with the leopard wrong. scarf. Has she got leopard pants too? Is she full on leopard suit right now? Oh! Forget the mask bullshit. This woman needs to be locked up for having more drip than a college frat house after a semester of condomless sex. That was a chlamydia joke. I'm, I'm asking you. him to take his hand off me. He has no right to kidnap me. This is kidnapping. kidnapping. You are. Kidnapping, you. kidnapping you. might be a little bit of a stretch. I'm happy to step out. This is, the this is because the police out. department are ignorant of the constitutional rights. There we go. This is why this man has his hand on me. Uh -huh. And he's is on my personhood. And I have the right. It's amazing. It feels like every anti-masker is just an absolute prodigy when it comes to knowing the Constitution front to back. It's always constitutional rights, First Amendment, personhood. Uh, we get it. Like, we understand just, but it's like, it's a lot simpler than that, right? It's really doesn't need to be this big, grandiose Constitution bullshit. It's just like a private company that's in the middle of a pandemic and they want people to wear masks inside. It's very simple. I certainly don't plan on wearing a mask forever, right? But the COVID wounds are still fresh right now. We're not out of the woods. We just went through the worst couple months in the United States. So while I do wish that a woman like this would make her life easier by just popping a mask on for a few minutes, I do understand why she's angry. I'm also curious too, in the state I live in, once you're in a restaurant and sitting down, typically you can eat and enjoy your food without your mask on. So I don't know where this is right now, but if I was forced to like wear my mask in between bites, I would I would say fuck right off too, that personally. That was stealing my purse. Is she out of here? Okay. I yeah, have done nothing wrong. Stand up. Stand up. Here we go. Take a picture of these guys. Yeah, this poor old lady, Jesus Christ. Can I have your back ID, please? Yee-hoo! Can I have your back ID? Did she just yee-hoo? You see this? This is illegal! She... Oh, God. Now she, she's falling to the ground. She's doing the fall to the ground thing. Are you filming this, sweetheart? Stop it! You cannot arrest me! I've done oh. nothing illegal! Oh, I have done nothing illegal! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, no! What? No, not the screams, dude. Not the screams, bro. Oh, God. Put your arms back. Stop resisting. Let go. I am not under arrest. Leave me alone. My God. It's like brain melting. I, like, she could have so easily avoided that whole situation, but on the flip side, like, why the fuck are we removing and arresting people over a mask? Like, it's... <laughs> I mean, the poor lady in the leopard print. I take no joy in watching her. <laughs> this is someone's mother, for Christ's sake. A precious, innocent little baby leopard is now all alone at home because she got locked up. What is happening in this world? Well, it wasn't easy to watch, but at least I was able to hear those leopard cries in high fidelity because of these Raycon earbuds I'm wearing, which, if you couldn't guess, are the sponsor of today's video. Roll the fucking clip! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the booming bass of these noise isolating, sleek wireless earbuds from Raycon. Revered by the likes of Mike Tyson and Snoop D-O-Double-G, Raycon premium earbuds come in a variety of fit options and colors. They sound great, and they're about half the cost of other premium brands. They're perfect for my workouts because they have a comfortable fit that actually stay in my ear, and I love them for chatting with family and listening to podcasts while I'm shoveling my way out of a brutal New England winter. With six hours of playtime, an impressive bass response, and seamless Bluetooth pairing, they're perfect for when you're on the go. 
Raycon prioritizes the customer experience from their design, the way they price, and the 45-day free return policy so you can be confident in your purchasing decision. And as you probably already know by now, you can get 15% off your very own pair of Raycons by using my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and thank you Raycon for supporting YouTubers we love. I appreciate you. Just step on the 18th, outside. and I would like to receive yeah. those. You're holding up my process. I have to get out of here. I'm not. He is. Yeah. He's not choosing to be bad. We, man, we cannot Shut down help your you. Phone. We cannot help you. I'm man. not shutting down my phone. Oh. Man, we cannot help you until this you step is a private outside. residence, and actually, I am restricting your recording, and so therefore, you are not allowed to do this. I am no I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what is it with these people that? seemingly go out of their way to be a complete fucking nuisance. It looks like she's in a UPS store, maybe, probably refusing to wear a mask or something. Why do they always know every single rule about everything ever? This is a private residence and I am restricting your recording. Therefore, you have to take your phone, put it in a Ziploc bag, shove it up your ass and jump off a bridge. Yeah, it's in the constitution. Read about it. This is not what it is. It isn't? Oh, apparently because I had three packages delivered here. Where's your mask? We will, we will help, help you in just a minute, man. We just need My to mask? Back outside. I'm not a conformer. Why are That's you wearing what, one? Man. Because I... <laughs> yeah. So brave. I feel like Why are you man. wearing one? Because I'm protecting everyone else. I've already had COVID yeah, back on December 20th, 2019. Can you go surprise, so we can surprise. finish? Huh? Can you go so we can finish? Can you finish? I can't because no you're holding up everybody. You Is she the manager? Who's yeah. the manager? No one's going oh to help until you step back out. Dude, is this the most slappable woman you've ever met in your life? I, you know, like I'm, I'm not saying like, like I wouldn't hit her. I couldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare. But if there was like, if that bitch that she's in there was, ow! Oh, that'd be so sweet. Just a. To... Ah! The entitlement is just out of control. Who is the manager? Who is the manager? Who is? You are. Why didn't you just say that? So step back outside. Why didn't you just say that? Where are my packages? Because you are not. Where are my packages? Who were delivered here several days ago, five days ago. I will come out and help you if you just step back outside so we can, so we can. Take care of her. No, step outside. You will not be helped until you step outside. Thank you. You know this is the type of bra that has no time for drama, living life to the fullest in every one of her social media profiles. You can spot these bitches a mile away. Go ahead and start checking out again. Can you do that? Uh, okay. I'll have you on camera this time. Sorry about that. And this is private property. You can't film it. It's here. public no, accommodation. Nope, Sorry. it's private property. You can't film it. It's with mistaken. a public accommodation. You cannot film in here. You can see what everyone's got all the rules. Private property can't film. Now, nah, well, we have a public accommodation certificate plaque, so we can do whatever we want. There's always a rebuttal. Listen, it's 2021. If you have any particular stance on anything, you can just Google a fucking case study and find a research paper to support your claims, right? Facts don't matter anymore. Nothing is real. We live in a fucking farce. Please don't harass the elderly. Oh my word, this is a, this uh, is here's a man interfering with commerce. Is he shutting the machine down? You're interfering with commerce. Jesus. But he's gonna turn off the whole machine. I guess so. <laughs> My man just decommissioned the self-checkout to teach grandma a lesson about not wearing a mask in wine co. And this is the flip side of the problem with this whole mask thing, right? Like I hate the idea of anti-maskers going and terrorizing retail workers in their job, just trying to do their job and they work for a company that has a policy where people are supposed to wear masks. On the flip side of it, sometimes, when you give people in positions of very, very minuscule amounts of power, a little bit more power, in this case, I can deny service to anyone I want based on a mask, they'll take that and fucking run to the hills with it. So just let 98 year old Bethel get her goddamn milk and eggs and be on her fucking way. I got a comment last time I said something like that. Yeah, well, Leon, well, they, if we don't teach the fucking anti-maskers a lesson, then they'll all start thinking they can get away with it. Dude, I don't know. It's Grandma Cecil. She needs some milk. 
let her check out and go the fuck home, dude. She's been on this earth. She probably was alive during World War II, survived through the Spanish flu, doesn't want to wear a mask to go grab the fucking milk. Somebody kill me. The whole thing is so fucked. Like, at the very least, you could be like, hey, ma'am, if you could, like, we have this policy. Do you mind waiting outside? I'd be happy to check your items out for you, and maybe we could, you know, render payment, and then I'll bring your items out to you. Like, just something that has an ounce of humanity as opposed to this fucking degenerate just completely shutting down Grandma Th Bethel, Cecil, Ethel, whatever the fuck, whatever, some old lady's name. Near there. You are, no, you don't. You don't Excuse me, you're it. in the way. You don't get near it, you can't touch me. You can't, touching you're touching me, touching he's you. touching me. Call the cops, he's touching yeah, me, the it's assault. Right it's assault. Oh. It's always assault in these situations, always. It's a assault. It's assault. You're not touching me. You're touching me. It's a assault. That's assault. You committed assault. I have not committed assault. You have. You touched her. Okay. That's assault. That's assault. That's not assault. I want to make an assault arrest okay. against you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make an assault arrest against you. At least three machines are disabled among six because they're afraid to allow someone who's already purchased groceries to check them out. That's... That's the state of affairs today in Winco, Salem, Oregon. I'm genuinely curious for anyone watching this that lives outside of the United States. I feel like all of the clips we see about like the mask versus the anti-mask thing, it's like big business online. The clips, they go viral constantly. Is this a United States thing? Is it just in the US and the rest of the world is just like, oh yeah, we'll fucking, you know, we'll wear them for a while, we'll do what the state says, and, and is it just the US? I feel like if I only see this happen in the United States, unless maybe other continents don't have cameras, they don't have cell phones, I don't fucking know. All I know is that it's a lose-lose. Everybody involved looks like a fucking idiot. The anti-maskers that you refuse to put on a mask for three minutes to fucking buy some groceries. And the dude on the power trip, like, disabling all the machines, like, wielding his fucking righteous halberd of s deliverance to make sure that no heathens can get through his checkout line without a mask on. Like, the whole thing is fucking pathetic. I left my dog in the car to run in and get something. And this gentleman decided to break my two windows, and now he won't leave because he said the police are supposed to be coming. The I have glass everywhere, and he's harassing me. Ooh, my man smashed two of her windows? Because she left her dog in the back of a hot car while she went in to get groceries? Good. Yeah. No, he's not harassing you. He, you can't leave a dog. It is hot outside. What's the first thing you do when you get in your car on a hot day? Stop, no, please. no, I'm not. Please. What's the first thing you do when you get in your car on a hot day? You roll your windows down. Listen, if you're gonna leave your dog in a hot car, the least you could do is roll up the windows and blast the heat so it dies quick. <gasps> what the fuck? No, but seriously, just crack the fucking window. If you crack the window a little bit, they can stick their snout out, they can get a little fresh air. Probably not advisable anyways, but you keep them shits roll all the way up on a hot day and a passerby sees that shit, they're gonna elbow that window so damn fast. You know that in this country, people love animals more than they love humans. No one gives a fuck about your car, your Subaru, right? They're worried about the animal in the back of that car. Hi is giving me problems because I asked him to close the gate. I asked them to, I made a comment because the gate was open. He wanted to open his miserable mouth with his, with his miserable girlfriend. She's filming herself talk about a problem, an altercation she had with someone at the dog park uh, over a gate that was open. I just can't imagine this level of petty patheticness, pathetic pettiness. New Jackson, this dog park that doesn't know the rules. By the way, I have followers on Instagram. What do you have? What do you have? Eight friends. I could tell. No, that had that 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 was satire. That had to have been satire. Executed pretty well, I feel like, but there's not a single part of my body that that I I refuse to believe any of that can be true. Otherwise, that woman can burn and. And you're on my shit list. And if you think I'm gonna have a fucking. Tell me he's not moving off my driveway. What's Think I, you, you can't. What's you that, that fucker cannot, did. You, you no, can't use I that language. I can use the word all goddamn motherfucker. You're know. harassing. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a difference between being a Karen and a blatant racist. <laughs> oh boy. Don't really need to watch more of that. When I looked into it, apparently this woman, her neighbor 
was moving or moving in and there was a moving company that had two employees and they parked the truck on the street that really wasn't blocking your driveway. It was just on the street and it elicited this reaction. She didn't want to come out to talk on camera, but she spoke with me on the phone. I, and over the course of the video. It a hundred times in 30 seconds. There's nothing illegal about saying it. Do you feel that it's okay to use that derogatory Absolutely. word? Absolutely. Do I have reasons to be racist? Absolutely, I do. I asked her about people <laughs> calling her racist online. One thing you need to get, get straight from coming from me. Oh, good. I don't care who's upset. I don't care that I'm called a racist. There must have been so many catastrophic failures in the course of her life for this bitter old bitch to end up like this, let me tell you. Clearly zero consideration for what people think of her, which in some cases is admirable, but in this case, this woman just sucks dick. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? She probably doesn't have like a traditional job where she can get canceled, right? She probably reskins alligators into boots for a living or some bullshit, whatever people in Florida do to make a living. And honestly, are we surprised this was in Florida? No, I don't, I don't think there's any surprise there. Fuck you! Oh, fuck you! Oh. Fuck you! Oh. No, it's not enough! Yikes. No! Like, what the hell? You better get the fuck away from me. Fuck you! We have a car. We have, this is a road over here, man. Uh, ma'am, you're parked in the middle of the street. Did you mind just pulling off to the side? Maybe just get into a parking spot? Well, that's too much to ask. I apologize. You better stop fucking yelling at me right now. I'm not fucking moving. Can you please move your car? Thank you! Thank you! Same thing to a fucking car on Okay? I don't listen to you either, Shield. Listen, you short fucking piece of shit. Ooh. Okay? All right, there's being mean, and then there's just outright cruel. You don't call a man out for his height. God. You listen to you. No, 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 no. Why? Like, what's... You can talk all the fuck you want, all you fucking oh, Hawaiians. Okay. The white lady's fucking crazy. Huh? You can talk all the fuck that not you want, wrong. you fucking motherfucker. There she goes. No, it's not enough. Oh, she had a bad day, okay? Reasonable behavior for someone who just is up against it. Can we get a high-pitched squeal fuck you, please? <laughs> True American patriots are not gonna stand for this shit. Uh -oh. If you think we're not coming for you, guess what? You've already declared war amongst your people. We're coming. And 83 million people are not gonna stand for this shit. So good uh -oh. luck, because I can assure you we'll be the last one standing when it's all over with. We got a little coping MAGA meme right here. This is tough. Oh boy, she's struggling right now. Those of you who've been on my most recent videos, trying to spew hate and tell me that you're reporting me to the FBI. What? <laughs> Excuse me if I don't fucking care. I wasn't going to make a video but I fear for the safety of myself and my family, considering the fact that Secret Service has come in and interrogated my entire family the last two days. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you hate to see it. When actions have consequences, it's just so difficult to watch people have to eat crow, isn't it? And they are looking for my whereabouts. I have no reason not to comply with you, however, I'm not meeting you anywhere. I'm not guilty of anything. And for those of you who have reached out to my local and state police to start this nonsense to begin with, I know exactly who you are. And trust me, I will be giving names out. So it's a perfect story told in three parts. She threatens the internet at large. The internet fucks her life up. She gets, <laughs> she's being interrogated by the Secret Service. Uh, and then she decides to end it by making more threats. Oh, do, do you hear that? Hold on a second. Do you, do you hear? I hear. Brain worms. Fuck your mouth! Come here, take it to the wall! It's illegal! Take your fucking masks off! Woo! This comment underneath always white people. Yeah, so since the politicized hellscape of mask wearing, Seems to always be front and center. What we have here is a anti masker raid on a Trader Joe's. Yeah. Strength in numbers. Go, 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 go. Woo! Is my man in SEAL Team 6 
Is he about to go capture Osama fucking Bin Laden? Go, 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 go. Tango, Tango down, Tango down. We need backup now. We're going into the front entrance of a Trader Joe's without a mask on. The fucking level of self-importance that these people must possess is mind numbing. To think that anyone actually gives a shit that you have the huge cojones to band up with a couple of your fucking anti-masker buddies and run into a Trader Joe's to cause a stir. No one fucking cares! You're a fucking idiot! Sorry, we're 19 seconds in and we, all right. Here we go, guys. Operation Organic Disruption is underway. Lady's panicking. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's assault. That's assault. You touch me, that's assault. You touch me, that's assault. Why are they always such pussies? Why is it immediately assault the second someone looks at you wrong? It's every single time. Oh, let's let's go, let's go somewhere and stir up shit. For no reason, and the second someone gets pissed off because we know we're doing something we're not supposed to, let's just scream assault. Like the worst type of fucking pussy. I can't, oh God. That's assault, they threw this basket. <laughs> they threw the basket right here. You know what? Get a picture of the basket. Need, you gotta, you they threw the basket. Get out of the right there. Oh. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's it's literally seven and a half minutes of this shit. I certainly can't handle all of this. Where's our group? We got Where's our group? 299, all right. Okay, we got jazz apples for 299. Okay, now we just want to shop. You have what you want? They're like, they're so nervous and their adrenaline's running so hot right now that they're talking about the price of fucking apples because they don't know what else to say. They're just so, they're so fired up that they're this much of a rebel. We are not going to serve you, so you know. Ready? Yes. Yeah. We're wasting our time and everyone else's time. Oh my God. Hey, please, please leave. You guys are harassing us now. All right. What point are you trying to? Make we just want to make sure everyone's out. Everyone's safe. Okay. Okay. Is everyone out? I assume so. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Peace and love. Peace and love. They did it. They did, they executed a shopping trip at Trader Joe's without a mask against all the odds. When the government told them they couldn't and stripped away all their freedom, they fucking did it. You know, I haven't seen a feel good story like this since, I don't know, Rudy, remember the Titans? I just, I can't even think of the last time I felt this elevated. Another mask heavy episode. I just can't wait for the vaccine to hit a little bit over the next couple months so not everything in my inbox showing up is about a fucking mask. But in the meantime, we're just gonna keep on lapping it up like we're cats and there's bottomless milk going on at the Feline Buffet. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you being here. You wanna get some Brain Worms merch for yourself? Shop.leonlush.com. You can also catch me streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash leonlush. You can also catch me catching you hip thrust in that motherfucking like button if you know what's good for you. You don't want to be in the next episode of Brain Worms if you forget to do that. Uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Peace.